please, do you have any water? I'm so thirsty. It's Megaton. Have you been living in a hole or something? Everyone's heard of Megaton. They have plenty of water in there, but they only give it to residents, or people who can pay for it. I've been drinking this irradiated shit, and I, I can't do it. I just throw it up now. I need purified water, please. Are you serious? I, I can't offer anything in exchange, you know. I, I can just have it. I can just have it? For free? Water. Oh, <laughs> precious water. Thank you. You're a saint. Head on in, partner. Y'all enjoy your stay now. Well, I do damn. You're from that vault, Vault 101. <laughs> I ain't seen one of those jumpsuits in a long time. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're gonna get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? Nope. Sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. Sure thing, partner. What do you need to find? Our clinic is down in the crater, by the bomb. Doc Church is a little rough around the edges, but the man's got talent and compassion. You'll probably want to see Moira at Craterside Supply. She sells some weapons. Makes some too, from what I hear. Her place is down by the crater. Sure is. Moriorities. The entrance is on the top level, opposite the main gate. Just be careful. Moriarty is not your friend, no matter what he may say. So don't fall for his lies, and for God's sake, don't trust the man. Moira sells all kinds of stuff at her place. Crater side supply. Take a guess where it is. <laughs> Up at Moriarty's at the south end of town. Talk to Nova. She'll help you out. Sure thing. What's on your mind? It's called the Wasteland for a reason. But there are settlements too spread all around. The human race is stubborn like that. To the south you've got Rivet City. But don't bother going to DC. The place is a war zone. What do you want to know? The town's named after the bomb that's sitting in the middle of it. It hasn't gone off... yet. I don't trust any of the locals to tinker with it. Besides, most people don't even realize it's still a threat. And hell, Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam, they worship the damn thing. Why? Do you think you got the know-how to disarm it? For good? Oh, all right. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. Go easy. If you get the job done, there'll be 100 caps in it for you. Well, that's mighty decent of you. Just don't, you know, go blowing us up. All right? Well, come to think of it, I do remember a stranger coming through here. Had a look in his eye. You know the kind a man gets when he's got a purpose. Spend some time up in the saloon. Might want to check with Moriarty. Just watch yourself. That man's trouble. Mind your manners now. Now, I know I've never seen you in Megaton before. Well, let me guess. Just passing through, right? We get people trying to settle down here all the time. 
Anyway, if you're hungry, you came to the right place. What can I get you? Some people hate this place, but I guess that's their right. But what the hell do they want out of life? Food, shelter, and safety. Works for me. I ain't heard much, truth be told. I don't really ever leave the lantern. Too much work. Too few hours in the day, you know? Well, goddamn. You're new, right? Name's Leo Stahl. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Well, Moriarty thinks he is, but Lucas Sims is the law around here, and everyone knows it. <laughs> well, there's this and that. I keep myself busy. But really, that's none of your business, is it? What's to tell? We're alive, so we've got nothing to complain about, right? And hell, I've got a restaurant, so I have it better than most. Hey, I'm not much of a mudslinger. I don't like to spread stuff around, you know what I mean? Everybody has their secrets. Let's keep them that way. No problem, buddy. Talk to you later, buddy. of the glow for this ancient weapon ah look at this new blood tell me boy you ever hear of the enclave the last remnant of the good old usa they are now i don't know you from adam but i got you pegged for a patriot and any patriot worth his salt is gonna toss his gun in for the enclave any day now they're gonna roll up here and then this nightmare will be over for good but listen to me, Ramble. I'm Nathan. What can I do for you? Why? Why? Look around you. This is the good old USA. Sure, she looks a little bit different these days, but you're still on American soil. And even if you were born in some underground vault, you were born under the United States, which makes you an American. And it's your duty, and my duty, to support our country and our president, no matter what. Understand? Why, that's unthinkable. Where in the Constitution does it say that we're supposed to run around questioning the government? Huh? Well, when you put it that way, wait. You're just trying to confuse me with your fancy vault education and your textbooks. I'll have none of it. Did you have something else you wanted to ask? Or were you done with your crazy talk? They're on the radio. They have been for years. President Eden talks about everything they're doing. They got flying robots all around, watching everything so they know what to do when they finally swoop in and clean this place up. You'll see. People think I'm just a crazy old man. Things will be different when the Enclave gets here. They're the American government. The Eagle. People come a The more perfect union. I couldn't tell you, really. I talked to Manya, if you care that much. She's lived in Megaton longer than anyone. God bless the Enclave. ...of war is our salvation. It is the very symbol of Atom's glory. Who have we here? Could it be? A new addition to our humble little community? Dear child, welcome. Welcome to Megaton. I am Confessor Cromwell, prophet of Atom and father of the undying glow. Please, child, Come to the church any time, any time at all. In each our own way, we are all lost. Where would you like to be, brother? Atom can only heal the wounds of the soul. For wounds of the body, you should see Doc Church. His clinic is directly to the north of the church. 
It saddens me to think how quickly we resort to violence. Seek out Moira at Craterside Supply, although the true pilgrim relies on Atom to supply all that he needs. Up at Moriarty's at the south end of town. Talk to Nova. She'll help you out. What do you wish to discuss? Yes, what would you like to know? The Church of the Children of Atom is based on the idea that each single atomic mass in all of creation contains within it an entire universe. When that atomic mass is split, a single universe divides and becomes two, thus signifying the single greatest act of Atom's creation. Occasionally, a divine event occurs, and trillions upon trillions of new universes are created. The last such event took place here, 200 years ago, where most of the lost children of Atom see that event as simple war and devastation. We see creation and unification in Atom's glow. Those who were called to Atom during the Great Division were very fortunate. They were permitted to aid in the process of Atom's creation. We seek the same, both in symbol and in fact, and the bomb, as you call it, represents Atom's capacity for creation. We kneel before it and ask that Atom call us to aid him. We pray that out of our meager bodies, he will create new life. As you wish. Why, yes, we do. How much would you like to donate? Thank you. Very well. In my youth, I traveled quite a bit, but that was a different life. I assume that you are seeking information and advice, yes? The only advice that I can offer is this. You will find no wealth in the wasteland greater than that which you will find within yourself. Bask in Atom's glow and you will understand. Megaton, Atom's sacred village. He has chosen this place for the site of his shrine, and we have been called. Outsiders ask us, why did you build a town around a bomb? To them I say, the bomb brings the promise of division and the gift of the glow. The bomb is us, the bomb is atom, and thus we are atom, awaiting the day in which each of us gives birth to a trillion new lives. News? My friend, I take effort not to be involved in such worldly business. Earthly pursuits distract from Atom. Of course, now that you mentioned it, I've noticed that Moira has hired a mercenary to protect her goods. The man never sleeps, so they say. Walk in the glow. Behold! He is coming with the clouds, and every eye shall be blind with his glory. I'm Doc Church, and I run this clinic. Now, before you go asking me for help, you'd better know the rules. Rule one, don't bother me. If you do bother me, you better be damn near dead. I'm busy enough taking care of people I actually like. Follow my rule, I'll keep you patched up, I'll keep getting paid, and we'll get along just fine. I have to say, of all the rat-infested hellholes that I've lived in, this one is the least hellish. I'm the town doc. 
If it's cut, I sew it up. If it's infected, I cut it off. A doctor doesn't talk about his patients. At least not to strangers, he doesn't. Yeah, sorry. I don't think so. All right. I suppose someone with medical training has to have at least a bit of compassion. And maybe you can talk some sense into the boy. Leo Stahl. That boy got himself a problem with Jet. I've caught him in here two to three times trying to steal what I keep around for anesthetic. Not even his own family knows it. He goes up to the water treatment plant at night to get high. I don't know. I can't reach him. Maybe you can. Try to be careful. Well, hey there, stranger. I'm Manya. The old coot wandering around here is my husband, Nathan. If there's anything we can help you with, ask me. Don't ask Nathan. He'll just blabber at you about the damned enclave all day. I can tell you just about anything you want to know, honey. Megaton's history ain't no secret. Long ago, before the war, they used to be machines. They were like buses. But they flew through the sky, taking people anywhere they wanted to go. You didn't have to walk. You just went to the air station, bought a ticket, and took to the skies. Anywhere in the world, you just up and flew there. When the war happened, the machines started dropping from the sky. Everyone around here thinks that the bomb made the crater, but it didn't. The crater provided good cover from the dust storms. And when my daddy and the rest of the town decided to build the walls, they used what they had. Some of us wanted to, but the Church of Adam was just getting its start then. We needed their help to build the walls and clear the wreckage. If we'd have tried to move the bomb, they would have refused to help. Besides, a lot of people just wanted to leave it alone. It didn't seem to be hurting anything, and who knows what would happen if we messed with it. Good eye. You're right, honey. There are. There was an air station a couple of miles from here. It had been stripped of everything except the planes. My daddy got a bunch of people together to go out there, break apart the machines, and drag back what we could use. It took him a couple of months. You can't even tell where the air station was anymore. The wasteland just took it back. It's a hell of a lot easier than trying to find enough parts to build walls and houses from nothing. The scrap was there, why not use it? Besides, it's sturdy. It keeps the raiders and the dust storms out. Not all of us had the luck to be born in a vault, you know. Sure thing, hun. Well, originally, it started as a hole in the ground. My pappy talked about how his father and the original settlers just hid in this crater. It was enough to keep them safe from the dust storms. When things cooled down and people started wandering into the wastes, some stayed behind. The wanderers started coming back here to trade their stuff. By the time my pappy was born, the town was a full-on trading center. Pappy got rich on the caravan routes and eventually convinced the others to build the walls to hold off the raiders. Well, the raiders for one. Once the town got big enough, they'd wait until the traders and their guards were away. They'd come in and clean us out. Now, the super mutants. They were a whole other breed of problem. They'd kill us if they had to, but mostly they tried to drag people away, alive. So, eventually, my father did something about it. Him and a few others organized the traders and the citizens and built the walls. So we're pretty safe now. Still, I wish those Brotherhood of Steel fellers hadn't hit on such hard times. They really help keep the wolves at bay. Not at first. It was a collection of people trying to get into the vault, people worshipping the bomb, and a few other refugees. Then the traders came. Now the caravans take care of most of the trading, but before they were set up, it was all Megaton. I worked on the caravans with my father for a while, 
that's how I met that worthless bag of liver spots I call a husband. No, space is limited these days. You see all of these people wandering around here? They live up in the common house and aren't really citizens. Most people around here keep one eye open around strangers, but me, I can spot a raider spy at a hundred meters. I'm not worried about it at all. But if having meetings and pretending to vote on things makes the others feel safer, so be it. If you say so, honey. I was born here, actually, just like my pappy. Oh, for a while I helped him scavenge and then later on his caravan. But traipsing around the wasteland has worked for young people. After I met Nathan, I just wanted to stop moving around so much. We've been here ever since. Of course, I can't say that it's been good for Nathan's sanity. Oh, they come from all over. All over. You name it. The Stahl family grew up out east somewhere. Lucy's from some little settlement to the north. Billy doesn't really talk about where he's from. Doc Church used to live in Rivet City. Jericho, well, let's just say that men can change. I hope. Well, technically, no one. But you can't put two people in a room together without one of them trying to govern the other. But it depends on who you ask. Lucas Sims appointed himself the sheriff. He throws anyone out who causes too much trouble. But Colin Moriarty runs just about everything else. Not much happens here that he doesn't know about or plan. That man is the scum of the earth. He keeps the drunks around here soaking in liquor. And that poor Nova, that girl deserves better. And don't even get me started on how he treats Gob. Just because the boy looks dead doesn't mean that he should be treated like that. That man has his fingers in everything around here. Just watch what you say about him. It'll always get back. That man tries to bring law to this place. Lost cause, if you ask me. But I respect his trying. He does seem to keep people in line, though. Other than that weird cowboy thing of his, I don't have much to complain about. All right, then. Anything else you wanted to know? Well, you come on back any time you want to hear more. There's only one thing that concerns me in this town these days. What my damn fool husband is doing. He wanders around here all day and all night, preaching about the Enclave and trying to get parts for his guns. I'm not sure who's the bigger fool, him or me. After all, I married him. It's been nice. What do you need? What can I tell you about Megaton? Well, that fucking bomb is killing us all slowly. How's that for a piece of information? I take care of the water purification plant. That old rusted hunk keeps us in clean water. For now. Well, people have been saying that the water purifier is about to go. Honestly, I'll tell you what I tell them. I've been keeping that wreck going for 35 years, and this is the first time I've ever had a problem I couldn't fix. Well, back to work. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? I'm pretty sure I remember a girl coming into town with that about 10, 12 years ago. She didn't know a thing about the wastes, and I knew she'd get herself hurt without some sort of protection. So I offered to armor her vault suit. Never saw her again. Probably died out there, poor thing. In a way, she gave me the idea to write this book. It's yours, if you help.
great. Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life. Or, or to come outside for the first time. Or whatever strikes your fancy. A runaway dad, huh? I've seen plenty of them before, but none with the big 101 on their back. Good luck finding him. Maybe the armored vault suit will help you out there, huh? That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Good enthusiasm! Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Landmines are one of the few dangers out there that you can profit from. Disarm one before it blows, and you can sell it for plenty of caps. I've heard stories about a ghost town that's just full of mines. Traders just call the place Minefield. Sounds like the place for some field work. Get in there, get back, and tell me all about it. And could you bring back a mine for my studies? Oh, don't worry. No one ever goes there because they say it's a ghost town. And since ghosts don't exist, you can just focus on the landmines. I hear there's a playground in the middle of town. Reach that point and come back, and I'm sure you'll have some stories to tell. Sure thing. I'm an open book. What do you want to know? Oh, I haven't got nearly the experience in the wastes that you do. If I tried half of these things, I'd get my head blown off. <laughs> at least you look like you can really handle yourself out there. All I'm good at is coming up with the ideas and fiddling with junk for caravans. I know, right? I figured instead of just helping out the caravans with odd junk, why not put my brilliant mind to work for everyone? And between my mind and your experience, this guide will save a dozen times more lives than those greedy merchants will. That's the spirit, trusty research assistant. Oh, I couldn't do that. You'd be a real blow to those nice folks in the church. Besides, it's not like that bomb ever hurt anyone. Live and let live, right? What do you need? Have fun out there, okay? Well, hot damn! Someone new. Always a pleasure. Name's Billy Creel. You call me Billy, all right? I know Megaton looks more like a boneyard than a town, but it ain't all bad. Take me and Maggie, for instance. We make do just fine. I trade the stuff I scavenge, and she helps keep me on the straight and narrow. <laughs> oh, sorry. I guess I got ahead of myself, huh? Maggie's nine. Sweetest little girl you'd ever care to meet. We take care of each other. I ain't never had a daughter, but if I did, I'd want her to be Maggie. I took her in when her parents got killed by raiders. That was two years ago. It was a pretty bad scene. Small settlement up north. I'd stopped in to trade some salvage, and the whole place had been wiped out. I found Maggie hiding under a bed, in the same room where her parents had been butchered. We've been together ever since. 
All I know is that I spent too much time out there, and beyond that, I ain't gonna talk about it. Megaton is the best little town you'll find in the Capital Wasteland. Don't let anyone tell you different. Strong walls, strong people, and strong booze. We've got everything you need to make a life these days. Me? I deal with the caravan suppliers. I used to ride with those guys, so they cut me some good deals. Helps keep the town supplied. But more importantly, I take care of Maggie. Of course, she's getting a little old to have Billy looking over her shoulder all the time. People have been saying that there's something wrong with the water purifier. But old Walter's been keeping that thing running for decades. I'm not worried. No reason it'd pick now to go down for good, would it? Easy, man. Welcome to... Ah, welcome, weary traveler. You look like a traveler in need of relaxation and the finest of chemical assistance. Well, wander no more, my good friend, for I am Doc Hoff, procurer of the finest of medical goods and chemical assistance. Now, how may I help you? I provide food, drinks, and discreet chemicals to discerning customers around the wasteland. I help ease the suffering of my fellow man. For a price. I don't have a home office exactly, but I organize much of my trade with Ernest Rowe in Canterbury Commons. Cheers, pal. Watch yourself out there. Megaton. Friendliest town around. 